planning that? Because Tampa Bay Lightning is coming to our school today. Whoa, really? Are they going to play a game against the Washington Capitals? No, they're coming to our physical education classes to teach us how to play street hockey. Good morning, Tigers. My name is Avery. And I'm Michaela. Today's date is February 8, 2018. On today's show, we will have a report on what the STEM program is. A report on Tampa Bay Lightning and their program. Word of the day. This day in history. Lunch. Tiger teaser. And announcements. Now let's go to Landon with their report on STEM and why it's important. Do you know who's number one on Tampa Bay Lightning's roster? It's Michael Bourneval. That's nice and all, but I don't even know what roster means. But speaking of words, let's go to Eddie with today's word of the day. I am so excited to see Tampa Bay Lightning play a game. You know they're not here to play a game today, right? They're here to teach us about street hockey and STEM. Tampa Bay Lightning started their STEM program in 2012. Speaking of which, let's go to Ian with a report on Tampa Bay and their STEM program. Hockey started in 1875, so how many years has it been around? Let's see, um, the one, 143 years. How did you, in your head, never mind. Let's go tease your brain with today's Tiger Teaser. Did you know that from November 2016 from January 2017, students were given the opportunity to apply for a scholarship through ATF? Speaking of dates, let's go to Sherilyn to see what else happened on this day. And while we go to this day in history, let's see what we're having for lunch and what's happening in and around campus. Yeah. Today was a fun day learning street hockey with the Tampa Bay Lightning. That's all we have for you today, Tigers. I'm Avery. And I'm Michaela. Signing, signing off for our media. Home. You, have you ever been in trouble your entire life? Never, have you? I don't speak about my past. What? What do you need? Think back. What could have you done this week to get you in trouble? Hmm. Nothing. Did you take a selfie in class? No. No. Should you go in Mr. Hero's class? Why would I do that? Gum's illegal. Impersonate a teacher? You! No gum! Put your phone away! That's a go too! I can't even play charades. Oh my gosh, did you forget the SD card? No, I totally forgot the SD card. Avery, what do I do? Listen to these instructions very carefully. Excuse yourself to the restroom on the east side and climb out the window. I'll have a van ready. We'll get new identities and we'll move to Mexico. But we don't speak Spanish. Hola, mi nombre is... Baño? That's the best I've got. It's too late. I'm already here. You look worried, you're not in trouble. There's been a slight change to your schedule, that's it. Oh really? Yes. Thank goodness. Yeah. False alarm. Well, you're not fine if you're on your cell phone, what are you doing? Get the van. Ah, uh, where is she? It's getting late and Michaela's still not here. Bill! Was that supposed to scare me? That's why we're here at Sir Henry's Town and Trial in Plant City, Florida. Good morning, Tigers. Today's date is October 27, 2017. I'm Michaela. And I'm Avery. And on today's show, we'll be having a report on Sir Henry's Town and Trail. A report on the flight or fright response. Word of the day. This day in history. Lunch. Announcement. And Tiger Teaser. Although this may be our first time here, this has been going on since 2014. To find out more about Sir Henry's Town and Trail, let's go to our reporter, Ian. Although these trails are pretty cool, I'm still not scared. How are you not scared? Those are so scary. Like I said, I don't get scared. I'm pretty brave. I cry every time I get scared, and I'm not sure why. Well, let's go to Landon. He has a report on why we get scared. All this running away and getting scared is really wearing me out. Still not scared, but these trails are pretty long, and it's kind of making me hungry. Since we're both hungry and we're worn out, let's go find out what we're having for lunch today and what's happening around campus. Sir Henry started in 2014, making this their fourth season. That's a lot of scaring. So they've been scaring people for four years. 
but a lot of the stories they tell here are pretty old. Speaking of old stories, let's go to this day in history to find out what else happened. I think I know what you're scared of. What is it? Snakes. No. Clowns. No. Toes. Ew, but no. Oh my God, don't do that. Well, while she comes down, let's go to the word of the day. Each year, Sir Henry donates a percentage of their proceeds to charities, such as Versus Cancer. Speaking of percentages, let's go tease your brain with today's Tiger Teaser. Sir Henry's is located off of eastbound Frenage Road in Plant City. It is open this weekend from 7.30 to 11. You can find more information on their website. I'm Avery. And I'm Michaela. Signing, signing off from Rar Media. Are you studying for a Spanish test or something? No, silly. I'm saying Merry Christmas in all different languages. That's appropriate because today we're here at Epcot in the World Showcase. And it just so happens that Epcot's International Festival of Holidays is going on. Good morning, Tigers. My name is Avery. And I'm Michaela. Today's date is December 18th, 2017. On today's show, we will have a report on Epcot's International Festival of the Holidays. A report of different winter holidays celebrated around the world. Word of the day. This day in history. Lunch. Tiger teaser. And announcements. <laughs> Did you know that Peru's holiday is known as La Noche Buena? December 24th is the day they celebrate their winter holidays. Did you know that in Epcot's World Showcase, there's 11 different countries represented, such as France, the United Kingdom, and Germany? Speaking of Epcot's World Showcase, there's events for this holiday season going on, such as Epcot's International Festival of Holidays. Let's go to our reporter Ian for more information on Epcot's Festival of the Holidays. There's 15 holiday kitchens with different varieties of foods. Speaking of holiday kitchens, I've been wanting to try the new Shanghai kitchen. Personally, I can't wait to try the cookie nook kitchen. I don't think there's a cookie I don't like. Well, we go try some of the holiday kitchens. 
Let's go see how our school lunch stacks up against Epcot's food. And while we're learning what's for lunch, let's go see what's happening in and around campus. Wow, our lunch doesn't even... Did you know that in Sweden, one of the traditions is the Yabal goat? It's a 13 meter tall goat that was built in the middle of Castle Square. Yes, and it's a Swedish advent tradition dating back to 1966. Oh, that reminds me. Our reporter Carly has some more information about different winter holidays celebrated around the world. We have $200 in this 15 booths. How much can we spend at each? $13.33. How did you do that so fast in your head? <sighs> I'm just that good. You know what I do now? What's that? It's time to tease your brain with today's Tiger Season. Today we've learned about a lot of different countries and Christmas traditions around the world. Now let's go to the word of the day, which is tolerance. Today has been a fun day here at Epcot's International Festival of the Holidays. For more information, go to Epcot's website. I'm Avery. And I'm Michaela. Signing, Signing off from our media. media.